Okay, welcome back to 1.14 and we're going to be finishing off tooth complement and looking at this table um, and converting these into negative denary numbers. Let's get started. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit and we'll start with the first one. Okay, as you will remember, we go 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, but this is a minus. Now what it's saying is we've got 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1 in there. We'll ignore the 128 for the moment, but we'll put down 64 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1 equals 77. Okay, so now if I go up at the top here and I go minus 128 plus 77, obviously on a calculator this would be a lot easier, minus 128 plus 77 would give us an answer of negative 51. Okay, so I've basically added that number to this one here. So that number there, I'll pop this in, negative 51. Left hand of the tick, there we go. Let's do E. Okay, so rub this out. And for E, we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So we've only got one number here, the 32. So I'm going to take that into account. I'm going to go minus 128 plus 32. It gives us a number of negative or minus 96. Minus 96. And if I do the bottom one, J, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And it's the 8 that's missing, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So, again, let's add these numbers together. 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 4 plus 2 would give us 118. I'll just wait for the plane to stop flying over. So, looking at this, minus 1, 2, 8 plus... 118 would give us a total of minus 10. Minus 10. Let's bring in the answers and see if we've done this correctly. And as you can see there, yes, minus, minus 51, minus 96, minus 10 were the ones we had, but we got minus 66 for B, minus 17, minus 121, minus 96, minus 7, minus 81, minus 1. Minus 127 and minus 10. That was 114. Well done, everybody, with that one. Thank you very much. See you for the last one in this chapter.